everyone. How are you doing today? Today is Thursday and the only thing that I got bundled up is myself. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I don't have any babies with me or anything. Um, I wanted to make this video yesterday and I had a video made, but I just felt like I kept rambling on about so much stuff that didn't really matter to any of you that I deleted the video and decided to re-record. So take two. <laughs> no, you didn't even try to see my fingers go up there because I've got sun beaming in. Gotta love the sun, right? Um, we had some snow here in good old Pennsylvania and it is um, slowly melting but there's still a good amount of white on the, on the grass and and everything. The roads are completely dry, which is nice. Nice for driving. So, um, but this will be the last video for my giveaway. Um, and there won't be any, any, uh, tips or answers to the questions in this video. This is just a video to talk about, uh, what you need to do to enter. Okay. So, um, everybody uh, can email me their answers to the questions, and my email is eal17 at psu.edu, so eal17 at psu.edu. Um, you can email me the questions. Uh, please put in the description of the email or the, the subject line that it's for a giveaway. Uh, you can put mom forever giveaway or whatever, but just at least, at least have giveaway in there because I will do a search for the emails in case some of them go into my spam. That way I don't miss anybody. Um, and also, uh, if you could please put your channel name in the body of the email. That way I know who to give credit to whenever I, in case you happen to win, okay? So the winner, um, it, it, I'm either going to do uh, two people that will win $20 each or I'm going to do one person that wins $40. I'm going to base it off of how many people actually enter. If it's not a big amount of folks that enter, I'm gonna just make one winner. That way, um, you know, it's uh, a little bit more, more like a normal giveaway, I guess. Um, but if there's a lot of people, because I have over a thousand subscribers, if I have a lot of people, uh, then I'll split it into two winnings. Uh, so you must have a PayPal account for me to transfer the funds to you. And yeah, that's about it. I mean. Oh, deadline. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> uh, I was going to make the deadline um, <laughs> this Friday if I would have actually got the video up earlier in the week like I planned. But um, now let's give it till Monday. Monday, I believe, March 19th. I hope that's the right date. Um, let me think. Today's Isn't today the 15th? Yeah, I think it's the 19th of March. Whoa, we got crazy sun. Sorry, you're not seeing very much of me right now. Um, and I can't move you either. That's like the best place to put it. Maybe if I <laughs> put my arm up there. Um, so anyway, if you can get your answers in by Monday, if you're just seeing this for the first time, I'm going to have the link in the description below where you can uh, start from scratch, watch the first video, and then go uh, watch every video on my channel until this one, and then, um, you know, listen carefully for answers that are um, within each video to answer the questions. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I, I don't know what else to say about the, the giveaway. Not much. Um, I'm excited. I hope a lot of you will participate. And, uh, you know, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, who doesn't like money, right? <laughs> we all need it. Um, I was, I was thinking actually about some of this too. And it's like, if the two winners 
if it's two winners and, um, you know, you get $20, um, there's like so many things that you can do with $20. I'm like, I know $20 isn't a lot in today's society, but like if you go to the, um, International Doll and Teddy Show in June, $20 will get you in the door both days of the show. You won't have to pay for that. It'll be on me, right? Um, you can have a nice lunch out with $20. Um, two lunches out, probably. I find that lunch out um, usually typically runs around 10, between 10 to 12 bucks, depending on where you go and what you do and what you eat, too. But yeah, like I said, you can put it on a bill. You can uh, buy something nice for your babies. Uh, get those expensive pacifiers you've always wanted. I, whatever, you know, you guys can decide whatever you want to do with it. But um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I haven't done a giveaway in probably a year or two years. Um, I'm not real big on giveaways because I kind of suck at it. <laughs> I mean, I... I don't, uh, I don't know what to buy sometimes, um, that everyone's gonna like, and it's hard to figure out. I mean, I know that's probably not how most people do it. They probably just buy something that they like, and then that's the giveaway, but, and then it's like the shipping and getting it ready and, you know, all of that stuff. It's just a lot, um, it's just a lot, I guess, for me. I might just be lazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. But I got a new uh, package yesterday in the mail. And I opened it last night. I did make a video. It's a different kind of video. Um, not my normal location. And the lighting is uh, kind of sketchy. And my camera was very much misbehaving and a lot of that was done on purpose because of the baby. I don't know if you can put, <laughs> you can put together what you'd like there. Um, <laughs> I will be showing him uh, soon enough. It is a boy. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like him. I certainly do. <laughs> he, in fact, it was hard to leave him behind today. It's hard to leave all my babies behind every day. It's like, man, I want to stay home and play with my dolls. <laughs> I want to go to work. <laughs> but, you know, got to make a living, right? <laughs> so, um, I was going to do a couple things in this video. I don't want to keep you guys real long, but I was going to do a few things and tell you some extra things about me that you might not know. And, uh, one of the things that um, I found interesting, and this isn't something I do, it's just something I discovered about my, my, my family members. You know how people say, you know, potato, and other people say potato, and, you know, say tomato, and there's like roof and roof, you know, just <laughs> the way people pronounce certain words. About a year or so ago, I was talking to my dad, and he was um, talking about, we are talking about pies, I think. My grandmother used to make, like, the, the best pies in the world. She had, like, this phenomenal crust. And, you know, the crust is what makes the pies, just like the bread is what makes the sandwich kind of thing. Um, and she, I don't know, we were just talking about pies. And my dad likes rhubarb pie. Which means that to me that's gross. I don't like. Eh, no, uh, <laughs> I like fruit pies and I like meat pies, um, but that's about it in the pie realm. Well, there's a few other random ones that I like too, but like cream pies and stuff like that. But anyway, he out of the blue, he said that he likes strawberry pie. And I was like, did I hear, did I hear you cry? What? Strawberry? <laughs> and 
I'm like, oh my gosh. And the, at this point, I was in my late 30s. And I'm thinking, how did I go through 30 some years of life and not notice that you say bury instead of bury? And <laughs> no, it just threw me for a loop because I'm usually really observant and I don't miss much details. Um, I don't miss much of anything. I have excellent hearing. I have excellent sight. I mean, I have, I wear a prescription, but I, I don't miss much. <laughs> and for some reason, that day that dawned on me that my dad pronounces Barry as Burry. And then I got to thinking about it for a little bit and I thought, oh my gosh, my grandmother does that too. <laughs> my grandmother's been dead for a long time now, but I just remember her saying that. And I think, I think that because I, you know, you know, you grew up hearing that. I don't know why I don't say it that way. Who knows, right? You know, you think you would say things the way your family does. But my mom doesn't say Burry. My mom says Barry. So maybe I just talk like my mother. But anyway, I thought that was funny. I, I, I thought I'd share that with you because now that's how we pronounce Barry in our house. We always say Burry. So one of these days, if I ever say Burry, maybe I am transitioning into <laughs> saying that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, so another thing I wanted to say is that um, I have I have a love for music and I have a love for almost all music except for um, country. I'm not a big fan of country music. Uh, there's a few songs I like in country. But I just don't overall like country music. That's why my dad and I fight so much because he's a country fan. <laughs> um, anyway, like, I like a lot of different music. And this particular type of music that I like, almost every time I tell people this, they're completely, they're completely blown away. They don't understand, like, I guess I don't fit the stereotype, maybe? I don't look the part or something, but uh, I like a lot of uh, heavy metal music, okay? So like groups like Disturbed and Korn, ACDC, Metallica, in fact, ooh, Metallica, we're going to see them in October, they're coming to my area, <laughs> I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, I like, I like heavy metal music, and, um, I like pop music, I like rock music, I like disco music, okay, so when I, when I mention all the other ones, people are like, yeah, yeah, I can see you liking that, but heavy metal, what, are you sure, I mean, you can't, you, you, you just don't, you just don't look the part, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what they, I don't know why they think that, but, um, it's because I, you know, have a professional job, so I talk professionally and stuff, so probably when they, you know, when you think of heavy metal, you think of, like, garage band, you know, like, greasy hair or frizzy hair, teased up, and uh, leather jackets or jean jackets and jeans with holes ripped in them and, you know, black t-shirts and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. I do that in, in concerts, though, guys. I turn into a major, I turn into a different person. <laughs> so anyway, I just, I just thought I'd share that with you because that's something that um, usually people are really surprised to hear about me. And uh, this guy like stop right in the middle.
know, well, there's the road work sign. Like those digital ones. Oh, they're putting up guardrail. Okay. Well, I'll probably come home and there'll be guardrail along the road. In a new place. So anyway, um, I don't know what else I can tell you. Um, it's, <laughs> I just thought I'd share the brewery thing and, uh, Just going back to the to the, the berry thing real quick. My dad also pronounces other words interesting too. Like because we're all aware of this now. And it was like it was me that made everyone aware of it, like my kids and my husband, because they didn't notice it either. But I knew them a lot longer than they did, of course. But it was just funny, like they didn't notice it until I said something. And then now it's like we we listen intently when my dad talks to see what else, what else do you mispronounce? Like not that he mispronounces, he just says it different. <laughs> just a different way of saying it, right? Um, he was talking about when he was a little boy and he went to a carnival and he rode the Ferris wheel. <laughs> the Ferris wheel. My daughter, Callie, she just about fell over. It was all she could do to keep a straight face while he was talking about this Ferris wheel. <laughs> and I'm standing, I've got my back, or my dad's got his back to me, and I'm looking right into Callie's face, and I'm like, I'm cracking this huge smile from ear to ear, and she's like, you know, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You're going to make me laugh. So anyway, I don't know. It was just funny. Um, some of you, if you guys say Ferris or Barry or whatever, <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of you. It's just, it's just one of those weird things that I never noticed about my dad and my grandmother. And it was just so funny that, that how could it have possibly been that long? And I never noticed that before. How is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> But apparently, anything is possible, right? So, oh my goodness. Anyway, so I'm sorry if you guys have been, <laughs> stayed here this long. I just wanted to come in and talk about the, um, the giveaway instructions. And I did that, you know, towards the beginning. So some of you might have left me. And that's okay. But for those of you that stayed, thank you so much for putting up with my crazy antics and my stories here. And um, I hope that I will um, catch the Thursday next week. It's very unlikely I'm going to be able to do anything tonight because we have to go shopping for a dress for Callie. She's going to a dance on Friday. Both my girls are going to a dance. And it's at the school. And um, Goldie already had a dress. She had a dress back when we thought they were going to have a Valentine's Day dance. And they were supposed to have one, but something about they didn't raise enough funds to have it, so it got canceled. So she's going to wear that dress. And it was just a 7th and 8th grade dance. This one is for all grades, so um, Callie's kind of not prepared. So we have to go shopping last minute for a dress. And um, she's excited to go. She, it's funny, she used to hate going shopping, and now she likes going shopping. I think the whole boyfriend experience has changed her outlook on a lot of things. She's more interested in college than she was before, and a lot of things have changed with her. For the better, you know. I'm not saying shopping is good or bad, I mean, but it's nice that she enjoys it now. It was a chore to take her before, like she, oh, and trying on clothes, she'd rather get a fork stuck in her eye, like she, she hates trying on clothes, um, but she'll probably be very willing to try on the dress because she's excited about going to the dance with her boyfriend. This will be the first time she's been at a dance with a boyfriend. Ooh, my phone's going to fall. If I lose ya. <laughs> you can still hear me probably you won't see me but um 
this will be the first time that she's, you know, like she'll be slow dancing with a boy and stuff like that. She normally doesn't. She usually just dances with her friends, you know. And the slow dances, you know, they take they take a walk and go get a drink and stuff like that. But a lot of her friends are similar. There's a few that seem to always have a boyfriend no matter what. <clears throat> but the other ones that don't always have boyfriends, they hang out together. And Goldie, she, she doesn't seem to be that interested in boys. I mean, she's interested in boys, but she doesn't, um, she doesn't care if she has a boyfriend or not. And I feel like when she has one, it's definitely not, it's just like having a friend to her. Because she has more boy boy friends, like boys that are friends, than she has girls that are friends. But she's pretty, like, she's pretty well liked, you know. And that's pretty obvious. She comes across that way in, in my videos, too. But, um, yeah, she's not, I don't know. She's not real big on the dating scene. I think sometimes she says yes to certain boys because there's that pressure of, you know, having a boyfriend because all your friends do kind of thing. You know how teenagers are. Like, you guys were all there. Some of you may be there still. <laughs> Some of us don't mature. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, I, she just, uh, I think she does, I think she does things like that just to kind of fit in. I really do. And I talk to her all the time about, you know, that stuff. And But she's a, she's a teenager, and teenagers are like that. Um, you can't really say much. I mean, they do listen to... I know they listen to me. They hear me. Because I hear the things that I nag them about or I, or I try to educate them on. I hear that coming out later down the road. Like, they'll start talking to their friends about something, and I'll overhear it. And they'll say something that I've said to them, and I'm like, oh. You weren't listening. You were actually listening to me. <laughs> but, you know, at the time, they're rolling their eyes, and they're just, you know, they're just not, like, sh you know, shut up, Mom. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, just when you think you're not getting through, you know, you are, you know, you find out you are, and that's nice. That's like a attaboy to me, you know, <laughs> and, and my husband, too, like, when I hear them say things that he has said to them, but it's really really nice so anyway guys is I've been rambling for 20 over 20 minutes and I'm gonna let you go now because it's just time <laughs> but I thank you all for uh, subscribing to my channel for uh, being here for enjoying my videos and for supporting me and babies and I'll show you that new guy soon um, I don't know when but it'll be soon so, take care everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day and week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.